I'm pretty excited, you know. I'm actually excited because I'm so bored with doing individual work, and I'm glad that we're getting, you know, the full team out here, and there's no more super time constraints. We can go to 20 hours now a week as opposed to two hours on the field, so I'm looking forward to that. Uh, just kind of what's the uh, – with Monty, we kind of knew what to expect, but with your team, what do you expect to be the, the kind of identity, what you guys base your success on? Uh, um, that's a good question. Uh, I think for us, mostly I just want these guys to play hard. I want them to give great effort and be committed. I think you're going to see a team that's passionate and plays with a lot of energy. What's the biggest thing you want to see worked on and improved for the next three weeks before you guys get going with the season? Uh, every single aspect of the game. I want us to get better at the plate. I want us to get better defensively. I want us to get better on the mound. I want us to get more focused. If you said one thing specific, I want us to start increasing our focus um, because I want us team to be prepared to play 150 pitches and win all 150. What's it like for you this day, you know, finally coming here as a head coach and, you know, you're calling all the shots to say <laughs> Uh, it's funny because I thought about that early, and I think uh, you go through these times with baseball where, where you go through highs and lows, and, and the game can become kind of routine. And you know, this hasn't been so routine. It's new to me, and, and the excitement takes you back to when you were a child playing baseball. And it, those same feelings have come up. I'm, I'm excited um, to get a shot to do this, and, and it's a great blessing for me. Oh, it's awesome. I mean, just being out here with the guys again, being able to practice with them and work out with them at full capacity is just awesome. And I'm ready to be out there on the mound again. How tough was last season for you having to, to be on the sidelines for everything that went on? Um, it was pretty hard since it was the first time that I've actually sat out during the season. Um, but, I mean, it's just something that happens and something that people just have to go through sometimes. So, um, at the end of the day, it will pay off. So, I'm ready to go. Just looking at this roster, there's so many new names on it. It seems like a completely different team than a couple of years ago. Uh, Monty's gone, you know. What is the identity of this team? You know, what are you guys thinking as you head into this year? Um, we do have a lot of new guys, but we also have a, guy, a lot of guys that are ready to step up and fill those roles that uh, left this past off season. Um, got a lot of depth in the pitching staff and a lot of great uh, position players that came in this year. So we have really high expectations for this season. For you personally, how different is it coming into this year? It seems like last year you kind of were under the radar coming into the season, and now a lot of people are, are pointing you out and looking at someone that, that they expect to do pretty well. I mean, it's different, but I mean, I'm just kind of taking it how it goes. Uh, I usually like not getting a lot of hype built around me just because I like being the underdog, but that's pretty much it. What are the expectations this team has for the, for the team overall going into the year? Uh, we, we plan to go to Omaha and compete for a national championship. Uh, I don't know. I mean, a lot of us working hard, and we got a lot of new guys that are coming in. A lot of people don't know about, like Bradley Dixon, Tommy Richter, Dupree Hart. A lot of them are going to step in and do a lot of good things for us, and a lot of people don't know about them yet.